Congressman, I'd like to thank you because you're our first on-camera interview on brooklynoptimist.com, and it's a great pleasure to have you on uh, our show today. Thank so you thank for you the honor. So, uh, Congressman, I understand that you're a supporter of Barack Obama, and I wanted to know what drew you to his candidacy. Well, uh, Obama's an amazing candidate, He's very impressive, and his uh, stand for change, nobody knows better than I do how much we need some change in the way Washington operates. Now, I speak as a disillusioned uh, former disciple of Hillary Clinton. Uh, I had great hopes for her. Uh, in addition to that, uh, Barack Obama came into uh, Congress when I was there already. Uh, he, be he became a member of the Congressional Black Caucus despite the fact that he was a senator. Uh, the previous experience with the black senator had been that she, she sort of uh, snubbed us. <laughs> <laughs> Immediately he wanted to be a team player. What do you think would be the effect upon America of a Barack Obama presidency? The first, it would be a signal that we are going to have real change. <laughs> because uh, I think he indicated he would do things very differently. Second, it'll break up the old uh, establishment. Not that I am in favor of dismissing the wisdom and knowledge that has been accumulated by elder statesmen. I'm an elder statesman, 71 years old, I've been in government for a long time. Don't cast us aside. Uh, but the way of, their way of doing business has not paid off for America. You know, we have squandered you know, so much. During my lifetime, I didn't think it would come quite this far. I was a part of Jesse Jackson's 1984 campaign, and I was a part of Jesse Jackson's 1988 campaign. And uh, whereas, you know, in 1988, I think Jesse thought he really could win, or he could get a vice presidential spot. I, I never supported him for that, that, that reason. We wanted change then. We wanted a voice. We wanted to be heard. And Jesse became that amplification of our voice even those members of the Black Caucus who basically had been ignored by the press up to them. You know, you couldn't get any, you couldn't get any traction uh, with, the, uh, with the media. Jesse Jackson became a way to get the message out there and to, to make a point, and, 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 and it did, and it was important. But I never expected him, him to, to win. Obama appears on the scene that caught me by surprise. <laughs> he takes off, and uh, uh, you look at his credentials and you say, you know, you can't beat those credentials. And then he's also uh, what America insists on having, a tall, handsome, <laughs> articulate <laughs> candidate, <laughs> you know. Uh, so he has a chance, uh, maybe a slim chance, but he has a chance of winning. You know, I'm optimistic because uh, I came from a background of dire poverty, and I know what it means in America, what opportunities there are, and what, what possibilities there are, and uh, I can never be pessimistic after coming out of what the situation I came out of and reaching the point where you know, I became a member of Congress. Uh, so I'm optimistic. Things change when you think they're not going to change. Suddenly you, you get change after working for years to do that. I'm hoping for a great breakthrough in terms of a peace offensive by this country, looking at the world and deciding that we're going to spend money and spend time and develop programs to lead the world in a whole new era of peace and prosperity. Well, I share your optimism. Thank you very much for your time, Congressman. It's a great pleasure. My pleasure.